Located in historic Santa Fe, Osteria di Assisi serves up authentic Italian food and old world charm. And speaking of charming, executive chef Christian Pontigia joins us in our Builder Source kitchen. I always say it so dramatically, I can't help myself. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you, Nikki. It's yeah. great to have you here. Same for me. And as I say every time, it smells amazing. Thanks. <laughs> well, of course, you know, as we get through this time of year, we love good food. So what are you making for us today? Making one uh, lembo subuco. It's kind oh. of one traditional dish in Italy. Yes. And of Christmas. And, uh, and I really love it. Like, I really love the lamb. Yeah, explain it because yeah. a lot. I love osobuco. My dad eats it all the time, and a lot of people like, say to me, "I don't know what that even is." So explain usually, it. Usually, the osobuco is a uh, make with veal, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, it's the shank. Yes. It's the shank, but the lamb is more small, more tender, and I don't know the uh, meat from the lamb is my favorite it's meat. The best and, yeah, and uh, and. You know, it's a tra really traditional for Christmas, and I like to make it. It's really wonderful. And you know what I also appreciate, and we've talked about this before, but if you've missed it, I want people to understand that you do have that Italian background, and you, and you bring your Italian culture and your knowledge from Italy to the Southwest, but yet you incorporate New Mexican ingredients a lot of the time as all, well. All the time. I really mm -hmm. like to, to buy everything local and, uh, and organic mm -hmm. in, in New Mexico, and I buy almost all my everything of my veggie from the farmer in Santa Fe. And That's so nice. Uh, and it's really easy to cook with the, the good ingredient the, the New Mexico have. Like, it really is. So, yeah. okay, so if somebody wanted to try this at home, how would they begin? What would be the process? It's going to be really, really easy. Uh, really? Okay. The, 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 the important thing is to buy the, the, <laughs> the lamb of Sabuco. Yes. And after it's just to braise a little bit the, uh, the meat, uh, add uh, carrots, celery, garlic, and onion. Okay. Uh, little it. rosemary. Uh, uh, some marsala wine, mm. uh, red wine, orange juice, and it's and and that's it. the end of salt that. and Now, pepper. where would you recommend people go? Because, you know, uh, there's a lot of people that watch us in Santa Fe. Where, where would you say they should go to buy the lamb that you would recommend? Any, pe any I place? think so, uh, all food. Okay, yeah. all foods is a good one. All foods, like I buy my truff, my, my truff for two or all foods. I think it's a it's possible to find almost everything. I agree, I agree, they have great stuff. And so, okay, so now you've got your meat, you've got your ingredients, do you just kind of put it in the pan and just let it sort of sit for a while? I mean, what's the what's is the Is that you put it in, in, uh, in the oven with okay. all the ingredients oh. for around three hours. Really? For, yeah, okay. for having the meat really, really soft. Cooks the flavors into yeah. it, right? Okay. Correct. And after I add just a little, like at the end, I just add a little piece of butter oh. and I leave the seed just an, another five minutes just for giving the uh, last taste. Okay. So now how, now you said about three hours in the oven, what would you bake, what would you put on temperature wise? Like 350? 350, yeah. Okay. Now you recommended that you put some wine in there. What would you recommend as far as a drink that could pair well with this in regards to I wine? I really love uh, the Brunello di Montalcino. Mm. It's one uh, Italian wine from uh, Tuscany. Ooh. And it's like, I think it's, for my taste is the best combination. It's a strong red wine, good taste. Really? Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. I, I mean, I trust your judgment. Thank Not you so much. just because I happen to have been a special feeling for Italians, being that my <laughs> daddy's Italian, but I, I really do. I know that you know the best thing that tastes. Because you want to compliment your food. You don't want to ruin yeah, the taste, the, but you want the, to compliment it. Correct. The, 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 uh, the combination of the, the, the ingredients and the wine is really important. Mm -hmm. in, uh, it is. In in our meals. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Correct. And also, you know, for the social fun of it as well. Now, would you mind plating this up so we can try it? And I know that you also have a, a little special treat for us back there as well. Correct. While you do that, I want to remind all of our viewers that they can come on into the restaurant and let's tell them exactly how they can do that. Very simply, go over to 58 South Federal Place in Santa Fe. You can call 505-986-5858 for reservations, which I highly recommend, especially during the busiest season and on weekends especially. And you can also go to the website to get more details. And now we want to definitely come in and have your cooking, but I get to taste it first. So <laughs> sorry, kids. Now, what are you making for us back there? A little sub, sub special side treat? Yeah, I, I have. I make one um, goat cheese polenta. Oh wow! It's one polenta. good combination with the uh, nice. with the lemon sabuca. And the polenta is really easy to make. Okay. Uh, all the time is uh, um, for uh, uh, one cup of water, one third of corn. Okay. And uh, just a little bit of goat cheese. Perfect. Well, we have a little less than a minute, so we gotta plate it up and take a look at the final product. And of course. Since you recommend it so highly, I might as well have a glass of wine with this delicious Absolutely. dish. <laughs> this is exciting. Is this one of your favorite things to eat? Yeah. It is. I really love lamb in, mm -hmm. uh, in every dish. Oh, it's beautiful. <gasps> Fabulous. 
And a good to garnish it with a little bit of orange and lemon zest. Oh, mm, yummy. Oh my God, Christian, that looks beautiful. Little piece of tomato for the color. Que bella. And Is that what I would say? Yeah. Que bella. Que bella. Eh. And then you have to say manja, right? Manja, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'll I, say, and now okay. I go, <laughs> I go to add the polenta. Okay, I have no problem saying okay to that. Okay, we'll take a final, final look at this before I dig in. And <laughs> then throw that on there and make it. Final presentation. Oh, that looks so good. I almost don't want to eat it and mess it up, but oh well, I probably will anyway. And is it? Oh, that's it's ready to go. <gasps> okay, I'm digging in. I can't wait any longer. Please. I don't want to mess it up, but you know, what's the point if I can't at least try, right? Okay, I'm going for it. Mm. I'm not surprised that this is the best <laughs> I've ever had. Oh, gosh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, and Is for the recipe, just go to our website at casa.com. We'll be right back. I've got more food to eat. <laughs>